You know when you're getting your eyes checked out for glasses and the optometrist is like option A or option B? Option A? That is exactly what it's like to look at some of these YouTube channels. Is it option A or is it option B? Now I already know the answer to that. This layout is a lot better than the original layout we have on the other page aka option a today i'm going to show you how to change your layout from this to this first let's start out with one that's already set up i just want to go ahead and show you and take you through this now I have my banner, everything that I have is branded. So if you look, the pinks, the blues, the light blues, couple yellows and reds in there, but I stay very consistent with my colors. I stay consistent with the titles, um, with the playlist. You'll see that there's playlists that are horizontal and vertical. There's, a, there's actually playlists of playlists. Um, you can actually add different sections and notice each one has a show more or you can scroll over here. But really I'm organizing in this in a way where if someone's coming to my channel, they can look and figure out what they want to um, watch. Now this isn't all my videos. I do have a lot more videos under videos. Um, but in general, when you come to a channel, this looks a lot more appealing than having the plain Jane layout. One thing I do want to point out to people is that you can search through people's videos. So I can search for something like Facebook and hit enter. So again, this is not the top right hand corner, but this is um, searching this person's channel. So that means when you create titles for your videos, you want to make sure that it's something someone would search for, right? So along with that, you can create playlists and details and descriptions. So you actually show up in searches. Now let's go up, go through the layout of an actual set setup um, channel, and then we'll go through the layout and actually how to set it up. So um, on one that's not set up. Now I have some of my keywords here. You do that when you first set up your channel, but um, right under that I'll have my home and notice it says what to watch next. So you can set up a section that has your most recent published videos right so of course you want people to see your new videos that you just published you can also for newbies or people who come to your site and they're new there's gonna be um, an automated welcome and I can't show this here but I'll show this on the other side when I log in as my other um, as myself so here you'll see that I have videos so someone coming to my site can see all my videos and there's a lot. <laughs> you can also, at the top, they can search by most popular, dated. You can go to list view or grid view. This is a lot more appealing to me. Uploads, if you do live streams, you can do that. Posted videos, things like that. So this is, again, this is me, a returning user coming to the site, kind of see our subscriber coming to the site to see what this person has. And again, notice if I look at all the videos, it's pretty consistent. Now going to playlist, I can now browse this person's playlist. This is only public playlist. Um, and I'm saying this person as if this is another person, but um, um, I know for sure I have some um, private playlists that people who are viewing my channel cannot see. So this one, again, you wanna make sure this is really organized and it's, um, colorful or you know it matches your brand colors so again you can see different ones um, you can go to channels and this would be the channels that this person subscribes to or in this case it would be me um, but you can make this private so other people don't see your channels as you visit discussions so if there's different description discussions excuse me going on you could see that and then about that person okay so if this was your channel, you can actually edit, but since it's not, I can actually view the email address and it's gonna make sure I'm an actual real person. I could click on their links, 
And I could also send them a message. So isn't that cool? You don't have to be on a video to send someone a message. Okay, let's go to the top and I wanna show you a couple more things. At the top, notice I can go to the Facebook group, Google Plus, and looks like there's some missing that I need to update here, but usually there's Instagram, Snapchat, things like that. I'm gonna show you a couple more um, people who have some good layouts. So I'm gonna go to Gracie. I love Gracie's layout. She has, um, she's very consistent with her branding. She has a welcome message. So as a new user, it's a welcome to my channel. Now, if I were to visit again, um, I would assume she has a separate set of videos. She has things spread out into different playlists. Very good. We're gonna go through Maisha, same thing. Even though she only has a few, she's spread them out into playlists. She has a welcome video. Um, and then we have Visionary. Um, you could tell this is a marketing person because she has very consistent branding, very consistent colors. You could see that she has a welcome video. Same thing with Be Bonita. Now, one of the things with a lot of people who do um, beauty is they put their face all in all of the thumbnails. So you're gonna see a lot of their faces and then some, some text, but really you're gonna wanna see the look. So she's very consistent here. And she also has all of her links set up. So this is very important to have that. Okay, enough about other people's channel. Let's get into how you do this for yourself. This is a second channel that I have. So we're actually logged in as this person. So you notice that here you have a channel description. Now you're gonna hear me say this a lot, use keywords. I'll include a video below in the description that tells you what that means um, once I go ahead and create that video. <laughs> but basically, it's gonna be how to um, cr create descriptions, create titles that people would search for. So instead of just saying Facebook, you might, be say, you might say Facebook advertising tips, Facebook marketing tips, social media strategies, social media marketing, whatever people would look for. So create a regular paragraph description but it will be something that people are look, looking for. So I'm just gonna put, I'm Socially Nina, this is my vlog, I'm sharing my life. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some things that I would not do. Um, makeup tips, you know, beauty, how to's, et cetera, okay? and um, current gossip, right? So I definitely would not share those things, but if you do, you wanna make sure that you put exactly what um, your channel is gonna be at, about. Notice I don't have these pretty playlists. I don't have you know all of those other things from the other side. It just says my subscriptions and liked videos. Now, I don't really like people to see what I like because some things I might be looking up a how to do my hair. Now, if my channel is about social media, I don't want it showing up on the first page, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go into settings here and start changing all of this. The first one says, keep all my liked videos and playlists private, yep. Second one, keep all my subscriptions private, yep. We're gonna skip account settings, right? I'm going to customize the layout of my channel um, it, once we get into advanced settings and things like that, um, and I'm actually gonna open this in another window and open this in another window, you can actually add a discussion um, tab in there, but right now we don't have that option. Okay, so here you'll notice that it says for returning subscribers. If I had a video, I can upload it here. For new visitors, this would be your channel trailer. I have videos on how to do this. I'll include that in the link below, but it's really easy. You're gonna to wanna to create a welcome video. Um, if you haven't used Majesto and you just don't know what to put here, I would take, you know, create a couple videos for your channel, um, pick up some pictures, and even if you don't have videos and you just have pictures, create a couple pictures, create um, words in Canva, create different things in PicMonkey, throw them all together, use Majesto, add some music and create a little channel trailer. So if you haven't used Majesto, of course I have a video on that. So that link will be in the description below along with kind of how to use PicMonkey in Canva, okay? 
On the right hand side, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you add a description. Now in mine, I have links, I have text, I talk about what I do. Again, keywords that people would search for so they can stumble upon your channel. Make sure include your name. So I go by Socially Nina. In my channel, I put Socially Nina. Okay, so you wanna do that. And then of course, once you have some videos, you can upload it here, okay? Um, under videos, I have no videos but this is where your uploaded videos are. You can click on upload and you'll see them here. Playlists. Notice I have no videos, but I have playlists. This is a playlist from someone else. So it's, it's a little confusing because I'm Nina, but you actually can create playlists from other people's videos. So you can, I'm just gonna go in here. This is a playlist, add videos. You can search for YouTube, through YouTube for different videos. So when you first start your channel, if you only have a couple of videos on things, remember YouTube really wants people to stay on YouTube. So maybe you have one, I don't know, one um, video on how to have the right mindset, but there's three people you admire. You could search for their videos and put them in your playlist to make your YouTube channel look fuller. And the more videos you have, you can start taking people, other people's videos away, or you can simply keep them there and keep going. You can actually find a video URL, paste it here, and then your own YouTube videos. I'll have videos on how to create playlists, the difference between um, series of playlists versus uh, automated playlists and things like that below but make sure you actually do add a description and you create some playlists when you first start. Notice I have a warning over here. So you can also, YouTube will start, the more that you're on YouTube, they'll start giving you some updates and tips and tricks. So make sure you're always pay, paying attention to your right-hand corner. Okay, I'm gonna show you real quick how to create a playlist and this is just because I want to do something. Pink Boss Club welcome videos so if you are in the pink boss club this is gonna be a public playlist I'm gonna create I want you to create a welcome video um, everyone in the pink boss club right now is doing a YouTube challenge if you're interested in that challenge link is below socialinina.com slash YouTube challenge so once you be, um, join that challenge you'll see that I am going to actually put this link so you can contribute to this playlist. I don't have to add you. What I can do is go to playlist settings, go to collaborate, turn on collaborators can add videos to this. So I'm gonna click on get link. And what I'm gonna do is post this link or actually send it out in an email. So whoever has this link can actually add to my playlist. Now think, if you're doing a collaboration or you have a group, this is a great way to add to videos. And actually, I'm gonna do this on my main page so um, you can get a lot more exposure, okay? So that's your playlist. I'm gonna go back again. I'll have some more videos below on how to create playlists. You wanna make sure you have descriptions and things like that. Channels, these are the channels I subscribe to. You can look at it in a list view or a grid view. I'm gonna go to about. So this is where my description was, remember from the home page. This is also where you select your country. More importantly, this is where you add your links. You guys saw that Viviani Bibonita had all of her links to social media. What I love is if you add, I'm gonna add my Facebook group, right? Okay, it actually adds a link, I'm um, excuse me, an icon for that social media. So if I now add Instagram, you don't have to put the name here, I could, you know, my IG, doesn't matter. It still works. It's very, very smart. But you can also have a highlighted one at the top so you can have up to five. So you can actually put, so if I have Facebook, I join my Pink Boss Club, which is actually this. I'm just gonna copy this and show you guys something. So 
So you can actually put your own text there. See how it has a different item. So I'm going to go back here and notice whichever one is first, that's going to have the full text. So I'm going to click on this and I actually want this one at the top. So make sure you pay attention to that. Um, and you want to put your first one, whatever text that you want, you want to put that at, at the top there. And you could add your websites. I would add your freebies, your groups, different things like that. Be very creative there, okay? But make sure you check them every once in a while. Okay, it's looking kind of good here. Now you're gonna wanna add sections. Now remember, um, on my other page, there were sections, there were playlists, there were um, just different things that you can add. So I can actually add, again, um, create it playlist so that means all of my playlists will be here since I don't have any videos nothing's gonna appear here but I would still go through and add different items here so add your playlist add your groupings add your sections I'm gonna actually um, go over to my other ID so you can see kind of what that looks like from the editing perspective That shouldn't happen to you guys. <laughs> okay, from this side you'll see that I have my playlist and you'll see that I can edit so if I click on the drop down it actually moves it down I could click here and move it up these are my popular uploads I can click on edit to change the playlist so I'm just gonna add a section and show you the different options so I can say let's show my recent activity and let's make it vertical or I can say let's add my liked videos and actually that's something that is private so let's add my subscriptions again that's private so let's add my past live streams now, once your channel set up, you should have something like this, but with your own branding. If you have questions or something didn't sound right or it just didn't make sense, make sure and leave your comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, please. Um, and again, if you want to join the YouTube challenge, go ahead and go to socialanina.com slash YouTube challenge or just stay on here and keep on watching videos. Thanks.